Well, it's unfortunate, but I have a lot of experience with um, working with people who've lost a parent. And um, sometimes you have a surviving parent when you lose a parent, right? Uh, so, of course, you have to use empathy and sympathy and, and try to help with uh, those types of things. But today I want to talk about why people end up calling me in this situation and what I do for people. So, uh, number one thing I do for people is find a caregiver that can help out with the surviving parent. People that have parents of this age group, you know, we're still working and we need some assistance. And especially if, if you don't live in San Luis Obispo County, you might need somebody local here to, to really help out and, and be one, a presence for you just uh, as a companionship. But two, you know, maybe there is some activities of daily living that they can, they can help with. But often I'll talk to them in addition to finding a caregiver in the home. Sometimes I'll talk to them about finding a living situation that maybe is better suited for their parent. Instead of spending the big bucks on finding a caregiver in the home, depending on how many hours of care you need, maybe it's better to go and find an assisted living community. Or maybe it's better to find a uh, memory care or a boarding care. And I can talk to you about all the different options that we have in our county here. In addition to that, maybe you live in Phoenix or maybe you live in Seattle. Well, I also have contacts throughout the country. So if, if you wanted me to refer you to another placement agency, then I could, I could refer you to somebody that uh, is part of the association that I belong to. Now, the last thing that people will talk to me in, in this circumstance is when, when they have moved out a parent from, uh, from their home into an assisted living community, I will actually help them locate a realtor with background of helping people in your situation. So what's the situation? Working with elderly people, uh, you know, it takes a little, a little more hand-holding through the process, especially if you've gone through loss like we're describing today. Often there's a, a family member who's the power of attorney who's outside of the area here. So want to make sure that whoever that uh, realtor is that's helping you with the setting up estate sales and doing all those all those background pieces that they're able to get paperwork to you and have you sign paperwork and have authorizations but having somebody you can really count on in the area is so critical so I've partnered with Remax success in Templeton we have realtors all throughout the county that uh, really can be either the neighborhood specialist or really the senior specialist that often I will work with. So having said all this, you know, we try to do this with uh, a lot of sensitivity and um, with empathy, knowing what you're going through and knowing that people aren't really just willing to jump on board a lot of times and move mom within a week of uh, somebody passing away. Sometimes it's necessary, but oftentimes it's not. And that's where family comes in. Family can often be that bridge where that maybe they're staying with a family member for a few weeks or a month or a few months or a few years, you know, depending on your, your situation. But uh, knowing that there's other options out there, I think is just so, so critical. Uh, hope this helps and I will talk to you soon.